Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching this clip on rate of change. It's about a swimming pool getting filled from a uh, quarter full to five eighth full in five hours. Now we live in Tucson, Arizona. It's darn hot here and swimming pool is a must. So we have one in the backyard and I remember it took a lot longer than five hours to fill it. Actually it took two days. All right, let's get back to our rate of change. So rate of change by definition, if you just read it word for word, literally it's change over time. Okay, rate really just per time. Think about it. How fast do you drive? It's miles per hour, so per unit of time. Okay, so we have five hour change and how much I've got to change? Well, at the beginning, the change is the way you calculate the change. Let's write it on the side over here. It's the final minus the starting. Think about it, okay? At the beginning of the month, you deposited, let's say, $1,000 for your groceries, and end of the month, you have 20 bucks left. The change, you're going to subtract it. That's $880 you spent. Well, same thing here. We were at... 5 eighth full, that's how much water we have. 5 eighth of 20,000. We started at a quarter of 20,000. Well, that reminds me of another story. When you're filling the swimming pools, you have to have to keep it at a constant rate. You can't shut it off and then try again because the water level is going to leave a mark on the swimming pool wall. Well, we didn't make that mistake, but our neighbor did. And sure enough, you can see that ugly line all around the swimming pool, and there's nothing you can do. Anyway, back to this one. I was off destruction here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to not bother to calculate this big number, but what I am going to do is I'm going to be lazy. In math, you sort of have to know when to be lazy, and this is one of the places I'm going to be lazy. The reason I want to do that is I want to cancel as much as I can possibly manage because cancellation makes my calculation a lot easier. So 5 divided into the 20,000, that's 4,000. And I'm going to make a common denominator here, so I have 5 minus 2. And guess what? 8 goes into the 4,000 500 times. So 500 times 3. And the answer comes out to be 1,500. Now, don't forget the units. It was gallons per hour. Okay, so that's the rate of change. I hope it's clear. Please leave a comment on YouTube for this t uh, for this video. Tongue is tight. Please leave a comment on YouTube for this video, and let me know if you liked it or it helped you. Until next time, have a confident day.